Hey guys, Reese here. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've done a shoe video. I've just I've been busy with work, and you know, I had a couple other videos on other topics I wanted to get out. But now I'm kind of getting back down into the groove, and so I'm gonna excuse me, start cranking out these shoe videos again. And I want to start that off today with these. These are the Nike Lunar Glide Four. I got these from Nike ID, and this is a really neat looking, comfortable, um, just all around great shoe. And so a little backstory on this, um, why I went with these, uh, the reason I got them from Nike ID and everything. Um, I was thinking about what to get my dad for Father's Day, and he likes shoes, not nearly as much as I do, but he definitely likes shoes. But, you know, he obviously, he's not into the same shoes that I am most of the time. And so, you know, when I get a new pair, it's generally something like, oh, you know, that's cool for you. Or when he gets a new pair, he's like, now I'm sure you won't like these. But but there is kind of one common ground uh, that we have, and that's the Lunar Series. The Lunar Glide Series, excuse me. Um, he has two pairs of the twos and a pair of the threes, and he loves them. And I have a pair of the twos, and I, they're a fantastic shoe. And so I thought this was a neat way where I could get us each a pair so we could have, you know, a matching pair. Um, just thought it would be kind of cool. And so I decided to go with Lunar Glide 4s just because we both like Lunars, or the Lunar Glides, and I'd heard really good things about the 4s in terms of comfort and everything. And I'm very pleased. You know, uh, first of all, with Nike ID, I love Nike ID, and I've ordered m multiple, multiple pairs over the years, but I've kind of noticed every pair I've gotten, there's usually been, like, something wrong with it. You know, it might just be little paint chip or something small but it still kind of bu uh, bugs me but with both of these pairs I couldn't find anything wrong you know I, I looked them over pretty thoroughly and they both turned out fantastic which I think is really cool um, build quality is just great everything looks like it's supposed to everything feels nice you know there's no glue marks anything like that anywhere so I'm very impressed we'll go through uh, close up here in a minute uh, and look at the colors and stuff and materials but all in all, this is a really great shoe. I did go with the uh, cushioned sock liner. You have the choice um, to either get a cushioned insole or a responsive insole. But since I'm going to wear these for casual use, I went with the cushion just for that little extra comfort. Um, and just from what I can tell from wearing them, that was a good choice. Um, so yeah, we'll get a look here up close of the shoe. I'll also do a comparison of the actual lunar midsole, outsole compared to the Lunar Glide 2 because they made a lot of changes. It looks completely different and from what I can tell from wearing these just a short time it was a positive change. So we'll take a look at that and get that rolling. Hey guys here we go with our up close look of the Nike Lunar Glide 4 in the um, what I'm calling my Father's Day edition from Nike ID. We'll take a look at the materials and colors first. You've got a mostly black upper it's black engineered mesh um, you've got your red swoosh right there um, let's see black kind of the support cup around the back around the heel uh, wraps around both sides you've also got your black tongue um, we've got the varsity red laces to match the swoosh and the outsole white fly wire and then for the tab up here with the ID it's gray with red lettering and then at the bottom it says lunar glide um, black lining also you've got the volt fitsole 3 which again is the cushioned because I wanted the extra comfort you've got the black toe box wrapping around here not really toe box but this toe guard, toe bumper. Um, as far as the midsole goes, on the upper foam, which is slightly a softer foam, it's uh, gray with white, gray, and black speckles. Here, let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. It's a great look. It gives it kind of a little bit of pop. As you can see, this top layer of foam, there's a lot of it on this, on the outside of the shoe, but when you wrap around to the inside, it kind of peters off. There's just a small band. Um, right there it does say Lunar Lawn, which that's the material, it's Lunar Lawn Foam. And then the slightly more firm foam on the bottom is red. Again, that wraps around. And over here, you've got the dynamic support is what it says. As far as the outsole goes, 
You've got red around the outside with black pads back here and then gray in the middle with your Nike Plus symbol right there. I think that's pretty much it as far as the shoe goes. It's a simple shoe. It's a lightweight shoe. I read that uh, they cut 10% of the weight of the Lunar Glide 3s when they made these, which 10% is you know, a big deal. So that's very cool. Um, now I'll do a quick comparison of the sole or the uh, outsole, the lunar part of the Lunar Glide 2s versus these 4s. So we'll take a look at the 2s. Um, as you can see, you've got basically like th uh, two or three main grooves along there. That doesn't really change for the entire length of the shoe. You've got some cuts in it you know, along there for kind of movement and whatnot. Um, it peters off at the front here in terms of the grooves. You can see it just kind of becomes a solid piece. Coming around to the back side. Back side looks fairly similar, except you got here, it says dynamic support and then looter lawn on this support bar that runs through here. Um, and then we can contrast that with the new out so you can see a huge difference. This flows a lot more. It's just got more grooves. Um, it's not straight across. It runs further up here, basically up to where this little toe tab comes up. Um, I mean, basically, you know, you look at it as the evolution of the lunar foam technology and the way they're kind of preparing that outsole to give specifically runners, you know, the best experience. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Check these out also. The uh, Lunar Glide 5s are coming out now, so those will definitely, I'm sure, be an improvement over these. But the Lunar Glide 4s are still a great shoe. Um, so I would definitely check them out, especially, uh, I'm sure, if, um, you know, if places still have them in stock, they'll probably be going on sale soon. If the, or be, not if, but because the 5s are coming out. So that could be kind of a cool chance to pick up a pair. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.